Welcome to the Wisconsin Athletic Club's Move at Home series. Um, my name is Jess. I am a physical therapist, personal trainer, and group fitness instructor at WAC Downtown. Today we are going to be doing a 45 minute yoga practice. And um, for this practice, you will need your yoga mat and water. Um, I have some yoga blocks here. They're optional if you'd like to use them, um, you can use them. We will be focusing on breath and flow for this practice. So to begin, we will start in a kneeling position. You can sit on a block if that feels comfortable to you. Um, so I'm going to sit on a block in kneeling and we are going to begin with alternate nostril breathing. This is really helpful for calming the entire nervous system, um, balancing out our energies and also just clearing our heads. Um, so this is one of my favorites. So we're going to start with our right finger, the index finger, on the right nostril. Your left hand can be either palm facing up if you'd like to increase your energy, or if like your head is going crazy and you need to calm yourself down, you can place your hand palm down and that should help to calm your energy. Um, so with the right, uh, right index finger, you're going to place that on the right side nostril. Take a nice inhale with the left side nostril and exhale left side nostril. Two more times, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. change. So now you can place your right hand down, bring your left hand up, index finger on the left side nostril this time, breathing in and out of the right side. Again, your right hand can be palm up or palm down, your choice for this practice. So inhale through the right side nostril and exhale right side nostril. Two more times. Inhale, right side nostril. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, now we're going to go back and forth between the left and right side nostrils. So for this, take your right hand, thumb is gonna go on the right side nostril, ring finger will go on the left side nostril, and two and three are gonna go at a point called third eye in between the eyebrows. So what we'll do is we'll take the right side off, place the left side down, inhale on the right side, close off the right side, and exhale out the left side, inhale on the left side, and then exhale out the right. So the breath will move kind of back and forth um, between right and left sides. So if you've never done this before, it feels a little silly at first, um, but I can assure you that if you practice this regularly, it really helps to calm the entire nervous system and it just feels great. So let's begin. Let's place the ring finger on the left side nostril, digits two and three at third eye, thumb is off to the side. Inhale, right side nostril, and change. Exhale, left side nostril. Inhale, left side nostril. Change. Exhale, right side nostril. Inhale, right side nostril. Change, exhale, left side nostril. And one more time, inhale, left side. Exhale, right side. And bring your hands down. Great job on those. Um, I hope you enjoy the alternate nostril breathing. We're gonna do one more breathing exercise before we get going with the rest of our flow. Um, this is called Kapalbhati breathing 
or breath of fire. It's really focused on the exhalation um, and sending the, the air back out of the lungs so that you can get new air into the lungs. Um, so when you do this, try to focus only on the exhale part of the breath. Don't worry about breathing in because it will just happen naturally. So when we do this, we focus on exhaling and crunching to snap the abdominals back so that the breath shoots back out of the lungs. So you, you crunch and you use the abdominal muscles to send and force that air back out so there's no more room in the lungs basically. So that close down, air has to come out and then automatically your body wants to breathe. So you will automatically breathe. It looks like this. And so when you do this, it's a forceful snap of the belly to send the breath out. Um, I like to do this in sets of 15. So let's do three rounds. You'll also notice that your body starts to get warm as you do this because you're really forcing that air out. So it's a great warm up exercise, um, especially if you're feeling a little cool as you're beginning this practice. Again, hands can go palms down or hands can go palms up as well, whatever you choose. So here we go, 15 breaths. Exhales are what we're focusing on. And begin. Hopefully you're feeling a little warm. I can feel a little bit of color coming into my face. All of the breath is moving, flowing. We got two more times on these exhales. Um, breath of fire, Kapalbhati breathing. And begin. Awesome. So that again sends that breath up and out. One more time, cleansing the entire system, inviting new air into your breath, your system. One more time, let's begin and go. All right, so again, forcing that air out so that you have to bring in that new air. Might feel a little lightheaded afterwards, um, that's fairly normal. So let's do a couple of calming things to bring us kind of back down, bring our temperature back down and get us ready for that movement. All right, bringing your arms up for breathing, inhaling arms overhead, exhaling arms down, inhaling arms up, Exhale down, one more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your right arm forward, left arm back for a twist. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, go ahead and bring your arms down by your side. We're gonna go into hands and knees from here. So I'm gonna turn to the side for cat and camel. So shoulders over elbows, over your wrists. Send the weight more backward into your hips. Inhale forward. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, look up, allow the back to round down. Exhale, round, push your back up by crunching the abdominals. Using your breath, inhale forward one more time. Exhale, round, crunch the belly up, push the ground away. And inhale back to center. Moving into bear pose next. We're going to press our hips backward so the weight goes into the toes. As we exhale, inhale, 
lower yourself back down. Two more times. Exhale, draw up. Press your abdominals. Inhale, come back down. Last one, exhale. Inhale, come back down. One more thing, and hands and knees. We're gonna take the hips back, squeeze your glutes as you come forward. Slide your right leg and left arm long. Lift the arm and leg. Exhale, draw in. As you crunch, inhale, reach long. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, lengthen the body. One more time, exhale, crunch. And inhale, lengthen. Same thing on the opposite side. Take the hips back, engage through the glutes. Slide your left leg back, reach your right arm forward. Lift your arm and leg off of the ground. Exhale, crunch your elbow and knee together. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, crunch and draw in. Inhale, reach long. One more time. Exhale, crunch. And inhale, reach long. And bring yourself back to center. Feel free to grab a nice sip of water. We're going to take ourselves back into child's pose. your way into child's pose just to relax for a moment. Take three breaths in child's pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and roll yourself up. We're going to do one more exercise on our backs to really get our core going before we get started. So find your way onto your back, lower yourself down, bend your knees. Working with the breath and the abdominals for core strength. We're going to take the arms up overhead. We're going to press the heels down into the ground. Tuck your chin. We're trying to engage all of our bandhas, our energy locks. So we want to keep our strength strong, our, our necks strong, and keep our ribs strong. Arms are going to reach. Tuck your chin. Dig your heels down. Squeeze through the hamstrings. Press through the heels. Tuck your chin. And exhale. Lift up. Inhale, slowly lower yourself back down. We're gonna try two more of these. Inhale, tuck your chin, tuck your ribs, and exhale. Lift up for that crunch, dig those heels in. Inhale, lower yourself back down. One more time, tuck the chin, tuck the ribs, press through those heels. Exhale, lift, feeling the abdominals really kicking in. And inhale, relax the body down and allow everything to be flat. Relax for a moment. We're gonna do one more core strength exercise here. Um, it's called a hollow hold. So for this, we're going to reach through the body long, both with the arms and the legs. We're gonna hold with our breath. So arms are gonna go overhead legs are out. Inhale first. Exhale, tuck the chin and the ribs. Inhale, everything comes back in and the head goes back down. Let's try two more together in these hollow holds, really trying to work through those core muscles. We got it. Arms and legs reach long, tuck the chin, tuck the ribs, Exhale. Inhale, everything comes back in and head comes back down. One more time. Inhale. 
Tuck your chin, ribs tuck down, and exhale. Inhale, everything comes back to nice. Head down. Go ahead and rock your back side to side, massaging out all those awesome back muscles you have. And let's find our way back into downward facing dog. We're gonna roll ourselves up, tuck the feet underneath us, and send our hips back. Pedaling out your feet up and down with the heels, stretching out the calves. If your eyes want to look at your hands, go ahead and drop your neck so your eyes look at your knees and your feet. Take three lion's breaths here. We're going to inhale through the nostrils and exhale through the mouth. Go ahead and take that nice inhale and exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. Go up onto your tippy toes. Roll forward. Step up to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Go ahead and bend the knees. Drop the head. Press the heels down. Lengthen the spine. And just take a nice inhale and exhale. Relaxing into the back of your legs. Then press into your heels, use your glutes. Inhale for halfway lift, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, dropping the head down. Stand up tall, push through the heels. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. And exhale, hands down by your side. You're gonna take the arms up overhead again as you inhale. Exhale, bring your hips back. Press through the heels as you lower down, dropping your head. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, lower down, drop of the head. Bend your knees, step your feet back into plank. Draw the abdominals up and in, tuck the chin, press through the toes, squeeze the belly up and in. Hold here for one more breath. And then go ahead and bend your knees, lower everything onto the mat as you exhale down. Hands underneath the shoulders, Peel the shoulder blades back as you inhale for a back bend, Cobra Bhujangasana. Tuck the toes, lift yourself up, push into downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here, dropping your head, relaxing your neck muscles. If you'd like to do the lion's breath, you are more than welcome to do that at home. Let's go through that one more time. Press through your toes, lift yourself up, step your body to the front of your yoga mat. Drop your head down, forward fold, Uttanasana, stretching through the back of your legs, those hamstring muscles. Inhale for halfway lift, pressing through the heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up tall, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, hips go back. Press through the heels, dropping the head. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step your feet back. Find plank. Draw the belly up and in. Stomach nice and tight. And then you can lower your knees down or you can lower all the way down. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale. Roll yourself back into downward facing dog. Or you can take a child's pose and have another sip of water. Cheers. All right, let's get in with, let's get going with a little bit more flow. So let's take our hips back, finding that downward facing dog. And then we'll take the right leg up towards the ceiling, pressing strongly down through the left leg. Step your right foot to the top of your mat for crescent lunge. Arms come up overhead. We're gonna stay here for three breaths, just holding nice and strong. Our back leg is bent, our front leg is bent. We're up on the tippy toes on that left side. Take a nice inhale. 
Exhale, press your heel back into warrior one. Arms are still up overhead. Take your hands behind your back. Get a nice stretch of the chest. And then inhale your arms up one more time for warrior one. Exhale, find warrior two, splitting your arms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Find triangle. So if you have blocks, this might be a point where you want to use a block as a prop as you reach your left arm up and your right arm down, looking up at your left thumb as you peel your rib cage back. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. And bring yourself back up to standing. You set your block out of the way. Find that warrior two again. Windmill your hands down to the floor. Left heel stands up. Inhale, right arm up for a twist. Go ahead and step your right foot back to your side plank. And then bring yourself back to your plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, four limb staff pose. Inhale for upward facing dog. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Or again, you might like to find child's pose. Take three breaths, inhale and exhale. Get a little bit deeper on those exhales. One more breath and exhale. This time, left leg goes up, right leg is super strong. Take that left leg and bring your foot to the top of your mat. Stand up strong for that crescent lunge, bending into that back leg, your right leg. Arms are overhead. Stay here for three breaths, building strength. Go ahead and take your hands behind your back. Give yourself just a nice shoulder stretch. And then bring your arms back overhead as you inhale, pressing your back heel down for warrior one as your hips reach forward, pressing the heels down. Inhale, open, warrior two. You can slide your stance just a little bit wider for this warrior two. Arms are reaching. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm goes back, strong through the legs. Exhale. Find extended side angle, reaching your body, finding a nice line. Um, you're gonna have a really big stretch to the side body. Inhale back for that reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. And inhale back to warrior two. Really strong through those legs. I can tell they're getting tired. Keep working, you got this. Go ahead and straighten that left leg. Again, this might be where you choose to use a block. If that feels good to you. Arms and legs are straight. Reach your left arm down towards the block or towards the inner knee. Reach that right arm up overhead. Press into the heels of your feet and turn to look your eyeballs up at your right thumb. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch. One more breath here. Exhale, push your heels down. You can set the block off to the side. Find that nice warrior two again. Just feel strong here in this posture. And then let's windmill your hands down to frame the left foot. Your right heel can spin up. Find a nice comfortable spot for your right leg. And then inhale, press your left heel down as you peel your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, step back to side plank. Feel strong here. If you wanna do fancy things like lift your leg, do anything that's fun to you, bring yourself back to plank and take your vinyasa. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, find your way back into that downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a nice three breaths here. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And one more breath, inhale. And exhale. This time you're gonna walk your hands to the back of your mat for forward fold Uttanasana, dropping your head down, feeling that stretch in the back of your legs. Take your elbows and just grab for a rag doll, stretching out all of those tight muscles in your neck, back, and hamstrings. Take a nice lion's breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Hands down. Inhale for halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up tall and stand. Arms to heart center. And every turn, we're gonna take a nice wide legged fold. So take a nice inhale and step your left leg out. Press down through the heels. You really don't want your toes to be turned out for this. Toes might even turn in. Connect to your heels. The more you can feel your heels pressing down, the more you can pull your hips back to lengthen the hamstrings. Arms are gonna go out to the side. You might need to bend your knees just a little bit here. Push your hips backward and reach downward. You'll feel the stretch in the backs of your legs. Take a couple breaths here. You might let your hands come down to the center. You might prefer to grab onto your heels to pull yourself further down. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Press more down through those heels. Press your hips more back. Nice inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands to the center. Open up for a twist, left arm as you inhale. Maybe take that left hand to your lower back for a half bind. Get a great stretch, still pressing the hips back, keeping the weight in your heels. Bring your arm back up, exhaling down, and inhaling, opening right side. Big stretch, try to keep pressing your heels back. Maybe find that half bind, right arm behind your back. Bring your right arm back up. Exhaling your hands down. Find one more stretch here. We're gonna find Skandasana next. Bending into your right leg. Left leg is going to go out to the side. Here you can just play with stretching the inner thigh. Try to get your heel down as best as you can. This one's kind of tough, so good luck. Um, it's a nice one to work on. If it's hard to do like this, feel free to grab a block and just sit on that block. It helps to get that ankle mobility to loosen up, working on those calves, press down through the heel. Maybe you inhale up while you're here and exhale for a half bind or full bind for the skandasana. Inhaling back up. And then exhale over to the other side. So again, kind of moving with your breath here, sitting into that heel, maybe taking your arm up. If you'd like to get a big stretch to the inner thigh and shoulders, wrapping your right arm around, maybe finding that bind. Bring your arm back up. And then going back and forth, you can just stretch from side to side. And then meet back in the center. If you'd like, you may try a headstand. Only do this if you've done this regularly. Maybe taking your head and your hands, tucking your feet and finding a headstand. Bending your knees. And walking your heels in, pressing your heels down and standing back up. 
bring yourself to the back of your mat and we will make our way down to the mat to close out our practice. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Find forward fold, dropping your hips and head. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, fold, walk yourself back out for your last plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, finding your way back to downward facing dog. Taking a nice inhale and exhale. Bending the knees for child's pose, reaching your arms forward, pressing your hips back. Taking three breaths in your child's pose. And then bringing yourself up. We'll take our legs out and find our way onto our backs. If you'd like a water, feel free. Let's make our way onto our backs. Bending the knees, dropping the knees to the right, finding a nice supine twist. Looking to the left. And bringing your knees back to center, dropping the knees to the left, opening your right arm, looking to the right. And bring your legs back to center. Bending the knees, finding happy baby, which is always fun. I think everyone likes happy baby. You can bend your knees, kick one leg out, kick the other leg out. And this is kind of your yoga play time. You can take your legs up and straighten the knees. You might find another twist. Maybe you'd like to bring those legs over again. Maybe you take your legs up and over your head for one more inversion. Whatever feels great to you as you finish your practice. The last posture is Shavasana, where our legs are out long on our mat, our arms are down by our side, Traditionally taught, palms up, heels together, and toes turned out. Finding just a little bit of stillness in this corpse pose. Thinking about relaxing the muscles in your face. Finding a heaviness in the jaw and tongue. Softening through the throat, neck, and shoulders. Allowing your arms to be heavy and your fingers to let go. Feeling the breath moving your belly and chest as you inhale. And lower as you exhale. Relaxing the thighs, softening the kneecaps, finding a heaviness through the feet so your toes turn out to the side. Enjoying all the benefits of your yoga practice and sending freshly oxygenated blood to every cell in your body. Imagine there is a heavy blanket on top of you and you can just sink into the floor and melt into your yoga mat. Stay here for a little bit longer. I'm going to read a passage to you guys. So you can stay in your Shavasana. I have a meditation from a book called Meditations from the Mat, it's Daily Reflections on the Path of Yoga um, by Rolf Gates and Katrina Kennison. Yoga is the practice of celebrating what is. 
At the end of the hero's journey, he finds that he did not need to go anywhere, that all he sought was inside him all along. Dorothy, having traveled across time and space to the land of Oz and having struggled desperately to find her way back to Kansas, discovers that she could have gone home at any time. In the end, she learns that her adventures have simply brought her to the point where she can believe this. It is the aim of all spiritual seeking to bring us home, home to the understanding that we already have everything we need. I hope that you are enjoying your time at home and that you are safe at home. Let's finish out this practice by wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes. Maybe taking your head side to side as you wake up the body. Gently roll yourself onto your most favorite side. And then you can get yourself up into a seated position and we will close out the practice together. It's always my honor to lead the practice. The light within me shines the light within each one of you. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining the Wisconsin Athletic Club's Move at Home series. Um, please tune in tomorrow to check out Cardio Kickboxing with Jennifer. Have a great day.